Hello guys and welcome to Mexico City. I'm starting a new video about Mexico City where I'm going to show you 30 best things, best places that you have to see and best things to do in here in Mexico City. The weather is wonderful. I am at Auditorio Nacional which is a big uh, theater place where they do concerts and all sorts of things like that and this is the first thing I recommend for you to check out when you are in Mexico City and have some uh, cultural, cultural entertainment and I can't wait to continue and to show you more about this beautiful country and a beautiful city okay guys so the next thing our second stop here in Mexico City is a place where we order torta and this is torta tortas come in different variations and it's something you definitely have to try when you come to Mexico so we're going to enjoy hello guys so this is third stop of our, on our journey around Mexico City is called the Angel of Independence and it's a beautiful beautiful golden angel statue in the middle of this super busy super busy road as you can see people just come here stop their cars take the pictures film it so let's get in the middle let's watch the traffic and here we are in the middle of the monument hello guys this is stop number four on our tour uh, in Mexico City and we are by San Ippolito church which is right here a beautiful church and a monastery it's a place where Mexicans or people who know it come here always on the 20th, 8th of every month to pray. And there are remains of Saint Judas, uh, you know, there's some Spanish uh, saint. They are inside. Hello, guys. So we had a bit of a rain, which is kind of common here. Uh, in summer or at the end of summer in the afternoon it rains a little bit and I'm here at Hidalgo Square and there is a church this neoclassical church which we're going to check out this is our stop number five I believe it's a beautiful little park here outside of this complex there is uh, many shops it's a busy busy street with different shops um, kind of market style so it's nice place nice oasis where you can relax when you're walking around uh, so let's have a look inside of this church Hi guys, so I'm going to show you now um, this is our stop number five, I believe, in Mexico City. It's the Palace of Bellas Artes. It's a magnificent building, which is a museum now, and you can go down and see the palace from the street, or you can get to the opposite building, which is a mall, it's a kind of thing called Sears. Sears here and uh, take the elevator to the 8th floor, have a coffee here and enjoy this beautiful view <laughs> 
Hello guys, so this is our fifth stop here in the Mexico City. We are um, very close to um, Palace de Bellas Artes, which you saw last night. This is the park next to the palace. As you can see over there is the Latin American Tower. So I definitely recommend you to stop here. There is another church. It's like so many churches everywhere. And when you get in, it's amazing what you see inside. So come to the park to relax. There's also a market nearby. So it's an amazing stop. Another stop, stop number five. So here we are guys, Palace de Bellas Artes by day. Beautiful. Beautiful at night, beautiful uh, during the day. I will show you the surroundings. And last night I was up there, you know, Sears, floor 8. There is a cafeteria which is open right now. I mean, it's closed, they open at night. From where you can take the pictures of the palace. Okay, and as we are here, uh, close to the Latin American Tower, let's make it a stop number six here in Mexico City. This tower is, uh, has a beautiful views. You can go to the top, you can go to the restaurant on a lower deck, and it gives you wonderful views at the surroundings and at the historical center. This is our stop number seven, seventh thing you have to see in Mexico City. It's an old post office building, really a massive one, right in the center of the city. Tourists like, like to come here to see the architecture of this building. As you can see, it's very popular. So I'll show you in a sec what it looks like from outside. Definitely should come here. So I'm going to show you now what the building looks like from outside. We're still inside, let's get out. But it's so beautiful, everything here, the architecture is amazing. So this is the post office building. Okay guys, here we are now at our stop number 8 and 9 because here we have the cathedral of the city of Mexico which we're going to have a look at and I'm going to show it to you uh, inside as well. And right across the street is the square of the constitution which is uh, full of, I don't know what, looks like market, looks like souvenirs, all these tents. So we'll have a look at that as well. So this is our eight and nine. And let's start with the cathedral of the city of Mexico. We are still at the cathedral guys and here on the right side from the main entrance there is another entrance very old looking historical maybe the older part of the cathedral so we are going to have a look inside you see this is the main thing and here is the old part So now we are at the Constitution Square, which now I understood what, ha what is happening here. The square transformed into a book 
workshop, book, market. I think they do a lot of different activities and things here uh, on this square. Uh, because otherwise it's just a boring flat square. It's quite a big, big um, space in the middle of the city. So if you speak Spanish, you might enjoy this place, you might get something. So here we are in the middle of the Constitution Square. It's a beautiful flag of Mexico. And across there, there is a government building. So here we are, stop number 10. This is the governmental building. Um, well, it's not much to see, but there is a market right beside it. Everything fake, everything you want. So this is the government. And around it there is a market. It's very close to the constitutional square. Okay guys, here we are in Capultepec Park. And this is the squirrel that lives here. Uh, i never seen a squirrel like this. There's a friend there. So Capultepec Park is our stop number 10. And let's have a look around. It seems to be a really large park. And there is many things to see here, which we will explore together. This park is so massive that it must have like 100 staff for the maintenance. It's very busy here today. I mean, not the visitors, but the staff working, fixing roads, planting plants, cutting grass. Okay guys, this is our stop number 11, it's a Castillo de Capultepec, so a castle of Capultepec, and the weather is not ideal, it was raining a little bit, so I hope it will get brighter soon, and let's go up to the hill to have a look at this uh, castle, in this way. So I have just realized that the castle is closed, it closes at 5 o'clock, so we'll have to come here again another time, which is good because weather will be better. And then we'll go upstairs and film this for you guys. Good morning everyone, this is our stop number 12. I recommend you to take Uber somewhere to the top, one of the hills surrounding Mexico City and enjoy this uh, beautiful view. So many houses, so, so cluttered, there is no space. Well, I was told there is almost 20 million people living here, no wonder. Hello guys, uh, this is our stop number 12, I believe. It's a part of Mexico City called Polanco. And we are precisely on the street named by uh, Czechoslovakian president Masaryk. This is the richest, one of the richest, maybe the richest neighborhood in, uh, in Mexico City. Full of shops, boutiques, uh, expensive restaurants, places like that so I can recommend you to come here as well when you visit Mexico City A beautiful shopping arcade here in Polanco
Hello guys, uh, this is our stop number 14. Here in Mexico City we are in the part of the city in the neighborhood called Coyoacan. And we are in the cathedral of Coyoacan. Which is very very beautiful. I definitely recommend you to visit this beautiful cathedral of Coyoacan. And this is the cathedral of Coyoacan from outside. On this square here. Okay guys, this is our stop number 15. We are in Coyoacan. The museum is already closed, but you know, this is a Frida Kahlo museum. This is the house where she lived. It closes at 5.30, so it's closed now. Um, but I think if you are into Frida, this is the place where you should come, definitely. You see this blue house, Casa de Frida Kahlo. Hello guys, so in this part of the video, I'm not in Mexico City, I'm one hour away by car. I went to see the Pyramid of the Sun and Pyramid of the Moon. Currently climbing the Pyramid of the Sun. So you can have a look at the area. There over there you see it's the Pyramid of the Moon. And this one is the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay guys, as promised, now we are on the pyramid of the moon. These are the small pyramids around it. And this here is the pyramid of the moon, which is smaller than pyramid of the sun. But you get a beautiful view from there, from here. This is our stop number 16. It's a very unusual and special place. It's a restaurant located right in the middle of a cave and it's next to the, the pyramid of the sun and moon which, which you just saw. And it's a kind of a bizarre place if you think about it, if you're not Mexican. It's a bizarre place, a restaurant in a cave. Because they are going to celebrate the death on November 1st and 2nd here in Mexico. That's why all these decorations and altars they make for the ancestors who passed away. They prepare all the delicious things that they, they liked. And they leave it for them on the altar. So, this is the restaurant and I'm going to enjoy something really tasty here. Okay guys, this is our stop number 17 here in Mexico City. Uh, 
Another thing, another place you should see when you are in Mexico City is called the Basilica de Guadalupe. It's in a very old church, very old basilica. Plus there is this another church built next to it in 70s it was built. And as you can see, all these people come here and pilgrims from whole Mexico. They come here and pray for a miracle. Many miracles happened here in the past. And people come here when they have some issues and health problems and they pray. So we will uh, have a look inside at the architecture as well. And here we are at the top of the mountain. This is the first church, the oldest church built here. And here with the golden tops, that's the second oldest church. And the green one is the newest church. There you can see the tents of all the pilgrims that come here. A beautiful view at Mexico City. And the people, the visitors who come here every day. Overlooked by an angel. We're still at the Basilica. There is this uh, sculpture representing the natives who saw the, the Mother Mary, reported it to the Spanish priest and eventually he believed it and that's how this church was built here. And it's very busy, people come here every day. And this is the basilica from inside. This is our stop number 17. We are in uh, Tenayuca. Tenayuca is a neighborhood north from Mexico City. It's still within Mexico City. You can get here with Metrobus, so on a public bus. And this is a pyramid of Tenayuca. You can't go inside. There is a wall around it. But you know, there are many pyramids, local pyramids like this in Mexico City where you can ask people who live here about it and they will show you and it's a nice thing to see because we don't have pyramids back home. So this is the pyramid and the park next door here in Tenayuca. Okay guys, here we are again at the Chapul Chapultepec, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, uh, castle. Today it's open, so we are going up to have a look at it. Because last time we were here, they closed at 5 p.m. So and here we are, we paid 70 pesos and now we are in front of the museum. And let's go in, have a look at what I have here to show. Okay, here we are guys, in a castle. Look at the beautiful floor. And look at the beautiful view at Mexico City.
Here we are at the upper floor of the Chapultepec Castle and National Museum. And this is the view you get from here. Hello guys, this is our another stop here in Mexico City. Another thing you have to do and try when you are in Mexico City is to go out at night. Have some beer with Tabasco, yes you heard it well, or with chili. Um, you have to go out and you know they put a lot of different uh, sauces, salt, uh, chili powder into your beer or around the glass. So this is what I'm going to show you right now. So a night out in Mexico City and there is a drink they um, call mezcal which is different to tequila and you should try it as well. I did last night so I don't remember it. Good morning guys, here we are at our stop number 24 which uh, is called the Temple Mayor which are these ex excavated or the, better to say ruins of the pyramids and settlement which was here right in the middle of the downtown of Mexico City right by the cathedral which, you showed, which I showed you earlier so I recommend, if you like archaeology, anthropology and all that stuff, to come here and have a walk amongst these ruins. Hello guys, here we are at the Plaza de las Tres Culturas, which is our stop number 25 here in Mexico City. It's a beautiful archaeological site with the remains of pyramids of course next to it it's a cathedral and a convent I believe uh, because uh, Spanish when they arrived here they were building churches and cathedral right next to the old Aztec pyramids so it's a place which you should definitely visit and to learn something about Mexican culture Hello guys, here we are now at our stop number 26, 26th best thing to do in Mexico City which I consider to be the monument of the revolution. We can take an elevator go all the way up and enjoy the atmosphere of this square. You can hear the music, there's a concert happening right now and some art fair I believe. Yes, it's definitely worth to visit.
is our stop number 26 or 27 anyway I always give you more stops uh, more than 30 you know uh, every video I make it's a museum of tequila and mezcal which is another famous Mexican alcoholic drink we are at the Piazza Garibaldi which is famous also for mariachi especially at night there's a lot of mariachi musicians who play here for tourists so I recommend you to come here if not to see the museum then to see the square Garibaldi square and enjoy the mariachi music I'm looking for the statue of Garibaldi I thought it will be somewhere here in the middle of this square it's not and there is all these mariachis but because it's only uh, probably 2 p.m. it's too early for them to start any singing or maybe and playing there is one playing so yes I was told that all the action happens in the evening when it's dark At least you know now what time to come here. At least one. And I think I see uh, some statues. <clears throat> so that could be Mr. Garibaldi. Probably not. Maybe it was another Garibaldi, not the Italian guy. And that's a nice blue building. Beautiful. Yeah, pulque is an alcoholic, uh, ancient alcoholic, be alcoholic beverage which uh, you can try here in Mexico, um, probably here in this square and in other places too. And over here it's a school of mariachi. Actually there's many dancing schools like for salsa and some other dances, which is nice for someone who wants to learn in an authentic place. Mexico is the place and this is the mariachi. It's cool. Today it's Sunday, so the city is really crowded. I recommend you to go out, not on the weekend. And this is the park Almeida Central, which is really huge. It's right next to the Palace des Belas Artes. There are some fountains, some statues, lots of benches where you can sit and relax after a long walking um, journey around the city so I recommend this place as our stop number 27 uh, yeah when you get here uh, you will see it's nice soon guys we are approaching our stop number 28 which is Museo Somaya which is the building in the middle um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to have a look. Hopefully we can film inside. Except the Museum Somaya there is many, maybe hundreds of museums in Mexico City. Mexico City is known as the city with most museums. So I can recommend you, but I'm not going to show you in this video, to visit also museums like Munal and also the Museum of Anthropology, which are very popular and interesting. So this guys is the sixth and the top floor of Solmaya Museum. You definitely should come here. It reminds me of Guggenheim in New York, but it has more 
the exposition is bigger here. Hello guys, this is our stop number 29 here in Mexico City and we are at the Citadela, I hope I pronounced it right, Citadela Market. So let's have a look around because this is a really nice market full of souvenirs where tourists usually come and shop. So you can really buy here anything, all nice handmade stuff. I hope they also sell some food because I'm very hungry at the moment. I think it won't be a problem. Okay, anyway, anyway, anywhere you go, it's more and more stuff. Oh, there is food. And here I see really a lot of tourists. I've been to many locations and I didn't uh, see many tourists because it's not summer now, it's already fall. But here, yeah, here they concentrate the tourists. So this is our stop number 29, I believe uh, we are entering the Chinatown of Mexico City, which is nice, uh, you know, if you like Chinese food, you should come here if you already had enough and too much of Mexican food. guys this is our last stop 30th stop 30th best thing you should see and do in Mexico City is to come here to the monument of Good Laugac which now you are able to find otherwise this is not known that much um, yeah let's have a look around uh, this monument is here in the middle of a busy busy road Today we have a fantastic weather in, in Mexico City. I have to tell you, Mexico City is not humid, which is great. And the weather is nice. It rains in the afternoons or at night, which is perfect. So this was our last 30th stop. And I'm going to talk some more about some other things we didn't see and didn't visit in Mexico, some extras. As you know, I always show you more than 30 or tell, speak mo about more than 30 uh, things. As I have told you there is really many many museums here in Mexico City and now we are at the University Museum of Contemporary Art here in Mexico City. Uh, it's closed at the moment 
but I recommend you to come and see it. It's a really beautiful, beautiful architecture and beautiful uh, exposition in here. And I'm going to show you in a minute also um, the UNAM, the, the university here.